Hello, and welcome to episode 12 of my Let's Play of Half Minute Hero. And this episode we're going to be doing a couple of things differently. First of all, I have a guest here. Say hello, Scott. Hello. Yep, and he's going to be watching me and providing input on how badly I'm playing, because I've never played these levels before, unlike all the other ones. So, let's give it a go. So, Scott, introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott. I know nothing about this game. <laughs> there you go. Brilliant. So yeah, we're 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 playing an evil lord, Scott, basically. And I hope you yeah. can pick up what's going on. Basically, I spawn units that I use to oh shit, kill things like this. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's kind of how it goes. And it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors in the way that some things are better than other things. What, so, um, like, shooters are better than... Yeah, shooters like, are better than nimble. Against one enemy. The red ones are brutes, and they're good against the blue ones. Yeah. The green ones are shooters, and they're good against the red ones. And the nimbles are blue, and they're good against the shooters. Oh, God. Okay. And I'm running out of time. And when you run out of time, you need to head towards one of these things. Turn back time. Yeah. Uh, ah. So now I need shooters to kill these brutes. So it's only, it's only half minute hero if you let it be. Yeah. Because, yeah, you can basically return back time as much as you like. As long as you have money, which you pick up off the dead foes. See the gold coins floating around. Okay. A big gold. Yeah, I can see those. So Scott, what are you playing at the moment? Uh, just Cause 2, apart from it messed my saves up. Uh, that's Getting back into Gears of War 2. Yeah. Gears is good. Gears is good. So are you still planning on possibly doing your own Let's Play? Oh, I've taken a hit. Yeah, when I get my new, when I get my new computer. Awesome stuff. Then I'll, uh, I'll give it a go. Sweet stuff. I'll be sure to uh, give you a link to anyone who's watching this to see his let's play when he gets around to doing it. So this level's taking a long time. They are usually quicker than this. But as you can see, there's tons of enemies to kill. So, is the big purple thing that's swirling around constantly, is that... Um, that represents... For visual effects. Well, no, it also represents how much stuff you can make. So the purpleness is how much stuff you can make. And as I spawn things, you'll see it gets smaller and goes white. It goes whiter. Yeah, okay. basically. I'm doing rubbish at this level, is what I'm trying to say. But the point is, um, yeah, you it, you also, at the end of the level, any gold you've got left over um, goes into a bank, and you can level up by getting that bank to certain numbers, basically. All so. right. This is taking forever. I'm trying to work out what these ends are meant to be, but it's <laughs> like a lizard thing. And um, yeah, my ones are like big ghosts, r weird lava yeah. monsters, and um, a sort of tiger type thing of some sort. Are you holding an umbrella? Uh, it's not an umbrella, it's a bat. It might look like an umbrella, but yeah. Um, the bat's called Millennia. It's a bat on a stick. <laughs> yes, it's oh, a bat right. on a stick. Um, basically, Millennia's like, I don't know, your wife or something. And the whole game is about um, you're trying to turn her back into a human, because she was once a human. And this evil lord called Noir an umbrella bat. into a bat. Yes, not an umbrella bat in particular. It's an umbrella bat. A um, oh. bat <laughs> That was one of the worst words I've ever heard made up, but yeah, great. <laughs> okay, all I needed to do was kill that guy, so I could have run through all the enemies and just killed him, but that would have been a bad idea. Because when you take hits, your circle gets smaller, so you can make less people, unless you turn back time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, there we go, we've done that level. I have no idea how long we've been going for, so I'm just going to try and do the next one. Ah, you see, I leveled up, because I got gold enough to make my circle bigger. And you'll see in the next level I have a humongous circle. We've probably got about four minutes. Yeah. So. 
we might have to cut this off if I do bad, because there are a lot of enemies in this castle. <laughs> this could go on for a while. A lot of the text in this game is really, like, satirical and stupid. <laughs> and, oh god. I like the look of it. I, I like can't actually see I like the look going of the king, on. But <laughs> look at that king up there. Whoa! What is that? Hello. I'm using an earthquake power, which oh, stuns me what is for a while, and I can walk around them and spawn mad shooters. Look at the size of that thing. Woo! All these big green ghost looking things. I'm worried that the video may have frozen for you, Scott. I don't know if you have any way to check. Yeah, it has. Oh, well, you're just going to have to imagine what's going on for the rest of the video. I'll just, just try and describe it to you. I have massive green things. And they're killing shit. Bad. I like the look of the king. The king looks funny. Yeah. I like the look of this game. I think... I think this game is actually should proper good. Use this style. <laughs> this, uh, yeah. This 8-bit style. Yeah, the 8-bit style is a very good idea. I mean, because you don't have to, like, put as much time developing it or whatever and stuff. And it looks really good today. Video's lagging up bad. Okay, so I've killed... I've killed one of the uh, bosses I have to kill out of three of them. And so I've got to kill the king and the other dude now. And there's masses of enemies messing my face up. I've taken a hit. Oh, good God. I can't see what's going on. I've done it. Bizarre. And with time to spare. Sounds like chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it was chaos. You'll have to watch it in the video, Scott. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems to have played on you. Okay, yeah, so the king basically told us where Noir would be, as in in the next castle on his little island off to the side. Um, so yeah, there's one more mission, and then I think... Oh no, wait, this might be the last one. Fair enough. Okay then, this is going to be it for episode 12 of Half Minute Hero. Thanks, Scott, for joining us. Sorry. Yep, okay. Anytime. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Bye. 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 I ended it. Bye. <laughs>